What is up, YouTube? Welcome back to another Morales tutorial video in which you're going to check out the new Firebase Web3 authentication extension provided by Morales. So here I have a sample React app where we have the authentication extension set up. So if we press login, it pops up MetaMask and asks if we want to sign in with the connected account. We select yes, and instantly in our user interface, we're signed in and a unique user ID is generated by Firebase that connects to that Web3 wallet. Now, if we check out our Firebase project in the authentications tab, we see this new user that has signed into our app. And you can continue to use the Firebase services like the database, and for example, only give access to people who've authenticated using their Web3 wallet. If this sounds exciting for you, stay stuck in and I'll show you how to build this. Hey, I'm Jay, your Morales instructor from beautiful Finland. I got into crypto in 2020, and I've been building in the space ever since. In my free time, I enjoy running and at the gym, and in the summer, you'll definitely find me at the golf course. Now, let's get stuck in and learn about Web3. Rightio, to get us started with this project, let's head over to the Firebase admin panel. I'll assume you know how to create a project already, and on your project page, you can go ahead and upgrade to the Blaze plan just to make sure that you have all the functionality we'll be using in this build. So you'll be on the Spark plan automatically, but we'll need to go on the Blaze plan. Don't worry if you still have a free quota even on this Blaze plan. Only if your app starts getting a lot of traction, you'll be charged for some of the services, but you should be more than fine when you're just testing things out. Now, the next thing I want you to do, head over to the build section over here and press authentication. And you'll have to make sure you get started with authentication. This just sets your Firebase projects up with authentication. So the extension can use authentication. If you don't set this up, you'll have problems when you actually start using the Morales authentication extension. And then finally, press this cog over here and project settings, jump over to service accounts and go ahead and generate yourself a new private key over here, generate key. See here in Google Chrome, it downloads this private key over here into your download bar. And the team here at Morales have created a online converter. I'll have a link to this in the description below where you can paste your private key like so, and you'll get all the necessary information for setting up your extension over here in these input fields. We'll be using these when we set up our extension, but this is all the preliminary setup we need to do on Firebase side. And now we can head over to our IDE and fire up the Firebase CLI to set up our extension and get Morales authentication hooked up to our Firebase project. So open up Visual Studio Code. Beautiful, now we're in our IDE. We have this repository called Morales Auth Extension Open over here. And if you haven't already installed Firebase tools onto your local machine, go ahead and do that by running sudo npm install g Firebase tools. I already have it, so I won't run this over here. And then then you can go ahead and log in to your Firebase account using the CLI. So Firebase login. I seem to already be logged in using Yohani at Morales.io, but if you're not logged in, it'll prompt you to go to the browser and log in using Firebase. And after that, you can return to your IDE and you should be logged into Firebase. All right, and now we can initialize our Firebase project. So run Firebase in it, and we'll go ahead and initialize it with hosting. Because if we wanna test out our authentication on a live website, we can do it through Firebase. We don't just have to have a locally set up website. So press enter over here. You can choose an existing project. We'll use our project as the public directory use front end slash build. This is because we'll import a react app in a moment where we'll build the react app and then it'll be in the front end build folder, which is going to be the hosted website. So press that you don't have to configure a single page app. So press N and yes, we won't have automatic builds and that's Firebase initialized for you with the Firebase project you have set up on your browser. And if you look in the folder right now, we have this front end folder where it generated an automatic build folder for us with a simple web page. But we'll go ahead and look into the front end in a little bit. Now let's first just focus on setting up those authentication extensions. And for that, we can jump back into the terminal over here and run this command, Firebase extension install Morales slash Morales auth. Now for the first prompt, just press yes. We can use the US Central One server and we'll store our secrets on the Google Cloud Secret Manager. So press enter. And I'm leaving this error in the tutorial just because you'll most likely face it yourself. It says that your Secret Manager API has not been used in project before, so it's disabled. So it gives you this website, which you can open with your browser. So copy that, open Google Chrome and head over to this website. And this should bring you to the Google Cloud admin dashboard for the Secret Manager API for the Firebase project you have set up. And although it says disable API, so it should already be enabled, I find that you press disabled API, disable, it takes you to the Secret Manager API page and you press enable again over here to just set up the Secret Manager API for your project. Now your Secret Manager should be set up and you can go back to your IDE Visual Studio Code and wait for a few minutes just to make sure that the changes propagate to the Google Cloud servers and then go ahead and run the same command again. 
All right, so I've waited a while and I think we're ready to go again. So press the arrow key up. You'll get the same command to Firebase extension install Morales Morales auth. Press enter. For the first prompt, again, press yes. Select the US Central One server and Google Cloud Secret Manager, press enter. And look at this, now it didn't give us an error and we get to input a Morales API key. So go ahead to Morales and get yourself a Morales API key. If you don't have one yet, there's a link in the description up below to set yourself up with a Morales account. So I paste my Morales API key in here and it'll be hidden. All right, control V and you see the tab goes a bit forward because it's hidden and now we've pasted our Morales API key, press enter. Next, it asks for a website URL. You could just use HTTPS colon slash slash local host or a valid URL you're gonna be hosting your website on. Press enter. And now it's asking for your project ID of the service account. And we have this set up through our online converter. So jump back into Google Chrome and check out the online converter over here. And we have our project IP. It'll be the first one. We'll copy that, jump back into Visual Studio Code and paste that in there. Press enter. Now it's gonna ask for the email, jump back to Google Chrome. It'll be the next input, copy that, jump back to Visual Studio Code, paste that in there. And then finally, it'll ask for the secret of the service account. So we'll store that on Google Cloud Secret Manager as well. Press enter and go ahead to Google Chrome, copy this long string from over here and jump back into Visual Studio Code. And this will be again hidden. So we paste that and now we know it's in here and we press enter and that's it. Your project is now set up with Firebase extensions, we just need to deploy it. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna deploy the extensions first, and then we'll go check out our Firebase admin panel and see if it deployed. And then we'll run locally a website and try and authenticate. And after that, we'll also host it on Firebase so you see a live website also using Morales authentication. So go ahead and run Firebase deploy dash dash only extensions. Press enter and you're currently deploying your extensions. This may take a while, don't worry about it. It just setting up the extensions might take a while. It might prompt you for some questions, just select yes for all of them. And now we'll wait and I'll come back to you when this is finished. All right, wonderful. So now I'm back, although my, that might take a while, it should successfully create Morales auth extension to your Firebase project. So now you can go over to Google Chrome, open your Firebase project up again and refresh the page. If you open up the build section and check up extensions, now you should see the Morales authentication extension installed over here, which is great. And now we're ready to go ahead and start testing this out with a React app. Jump back into Visual Studio Code. And here you remember we have this front end folder where it automatically generated a build folder for us and two HTML files. Let's go ahead and now replace this front end folder with a React app. Let me just bring one in over here, like so. So this front end folder is a simple React app. We have the source folder over here where we have the app.js and the index.js showing it's a React app. The link to this repository will be in the description below if you wanna check it out. So all we're using in this project is the Morales Web3 libraries for Firebase and then the Firebase libraries. What we have to do here at the start is get our Firebase configuration and then we're actually ready to go. So go ahead and jump in to Google Chrome again. In your Firebase project, go over to the project overview and set up a web app over here. You can call it whatever you want, testing, for our case, register the app, and it'll create this Firebase config file for you. You can copy this over here and jump back into Visual Studio Code and paste it into this Firebase config object over here, like so. And that's all you have to do. Now, in your terminal, go ahead and CD into the front end folder, front end. Make sure you install all the dependencies, so run npm i, and while that's loading, let's check out this app.js file a little more. So all we have on this page is a title, Firebase Morales auth extension. And if we don't have a user, we'll have a login button that fires the login function. And if we do have this user variable, we'll display the user variable and have this logout button. And then if we look out at the functions over here, the login function is simply just the one liner sign in with Morales, and it sets the user to the Firebase UID for that user. And the sign in with Morales function also creates that user if it's not present in Firebase already. And then the logout is simply just using authentication from Firebase, we're using the sign out method to sign out from Firebase and set the user variable to null. It's as simple as that. And now our dependencies should be installed. Yes, looks good. And we can try to run this locally. So run npm run start. 
on my device, this automatically launches localhost 3000. But if it doesn't, you can open your browser and navigate to localhost 3000 and you should see a page like this. Now make sure you have the MetaMask wallet installed and then you can go ahead and press login. MetaMask pops up. It looks like we're connected to account two and ask us, do we want to use the Morales authentication API to log in? We sign the message. And rather instantly, we are logged in and we have the user ID from Firebase. Now we can go check out Firebase, go scroll up, press X over here and jump into authentication well, you, where you'll see this user has just signed in user 0x62. We can jump back into our React app, log out. And now if we try and log in with a different account, so let's go ahead and change our account over here to account one, connect this account and log in with this account, MetaMask pops up, ask us if we want to log in with account one, we sign the message, a new user ID is created 0xc6. And we can go check out Firebase again, refresh the page, and this new user has just been created. And the cool thing is now if we log out, and we can log in with the same account, log in with account one, we're asked to sign in, we sign the message. And the same account is attached to the same user ID on Firebase. And now you have a Firebase authentication system set up with Morales Auth extensions. How cool is that? Finally, let's look at how we can actually deploy this React app online so that anyone in the world can try it out. So jump back into Visual Studio Code, go ahead and press Ctrl C to stop localhost from running. And over here in the terminal, you can build this React project by running npm run build. All right, rather instantly, the build is created. And you can see in the file directory over here in the front end folder, we have this build folder. And because we set up our Firebase CLI for hosting to look into the front end folder and the build folder for the hosted website, we are all ready to start hosting this website just in the terminal CD one folder back. So you're in the Morales auth extensions folder, and then you can deploy your website to be hosted on Firebase. So run Firebase, deploy, dash dash, only hosting, press enter, and your website is being deployed online as we speak. And that's how quick it is. You get a hosting URL, which is available for anyone. You can share this to your friends or your Discord or whatever. Jump into Google Chrome, and rather than going to localhost, go to the hosted URL that was generated by Firebase. And look at this, it opens the same page. Let's zoom in a little bit. Let's go ahead and change our account to say account three over here. Let's go to account four that we log in. First, it asks us to connect because account four isn't connected. We connect. And then it asks for a signature request to log in to Morales and Firebase. We sign and a new user ID is created. Now, if we log out, we can try and change back to account one, for example, that we've already used on localhost. Connect this account and log in. Sign the message. And now the same user ID is used for this account one because it's already been used once on localhost. So now it doesn't matter where you log in, you'll always have your unique ID for the account you use on MetaMask. So jumping back into Firebase, if we refresh the page, now we should have one extra user. So 0x5, which is account four on our MetaMask. And even though we logged in with account one, again, a new user ID wasn't created, but the user was able to log in with their same user ID on Firebase. So that is how simple it is to use the Morales authentication API with Firebase to set up Web3 authentication for your dApp. Hopefully this video was informative for you. Leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.